Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software and I was just having a play about and what you see here is a shopping list of several uh, uh, pieces of software ranging from burning CDs all the way down to security office applications, downloading files, things like that. What I've done is I've got the price of each of them, converted them to euros and do you want to hear the total? 1,527 euros, that's $2,225 or £1 £1,136 pounds for this software. Over here I have a collection of software and this cost me nothing. These are all open source or freeware programs which I've found are alternatives to these. So if don't, please don't take this literally because I was just having a bit of fun uh, the amounts are real but uh, I do know that you don't get as much functionality in the pro versions and pay for versions as you get in the freeware versions but uh, for what I need to do I will show you what I need to do and what, how I'd rather use the freeware than use the pay for software so Nero 8 well, if I was to get Nero 8, what would I do? I'd burn audio CDs and burn data CDs. So I went and got CD Burner XP, it's freeware. And straight away we have the thing here that says create data CD and audio CD. So you just click that or whatever you want to do. And then it opens up a list and you can start making your CD. So this didn't cost me a penny. Um, you can also burn ISOs, copy ISO images, make ISO images, things like that, make DVDs and CDs. So it would have cost $69.99 for Nero 8, didn't cost me anything. Uh, power ISO would, I would use for uh, mounting uh, CD images and uh, probably making CD images from actual CDs. Uh, Magic Disk is a virtual CD program. You can have virtual CD ROM here, you can make images here, compress images. And this is freeware as well, didn't cost me anything, whereas Power ISO would cost 20, 56 euros. Adobe Acrobat Pro, quite expensive, 449 euros. Uh, what can you do with Acrobat Pro? What would I do? I'd create some PDFs and read them. Uh, Acrobat Reader is free, but creating PDFs you have to pay for. So, Foxit Reader is the quick way of viewing PDF documents. You see, it opens very, very quickly. And PDF Creator is an open source version. Basically, you can use your pr uh, what you can make a document, send it to this special printer, which is a PDF Creator printer, and it will make a PDF document out of it. And that's open source, and saved me 449 euros. Next up, FileZilla. Smart FT is an FTP client, 25, 37 euros. This didn't cost me anything. Connects to your websites, does pretty much everything Smart FT probably does. I haven't seen the actual pro version, but like I said, with a lot of these, um, there'll be more features obviously in these than the main ones. Uh, Adobe Photoshop CS3, 649 euros for Adobe CS3. I can see that some people will probably argue and say well, you can do a lot more in Photoshop CS3 than you can do in the GIMP but the GIMP didn't cost anything and that cost a lot. <laughs> so as you can see same sort of thing as you'd see in Photoshop you just make a new file uh, whatever and then you just draw as if you're drawing in Photoshop. So to me it's the same only it's free. Audacity is an audio editor a uh, professional one is Goldwave, but Audacity I still think does the same as Goldwave. It does all the you think you get loads of plugins for Audacity, which you can use. Uh, Virtual Dub and Zilsoft Video Editor I think they're the same thing. Video edits you can take out frames and things like that and split files up. Pretty much the same thing. You saved quite a bit there. MIRC a lot of people use this as uh, so a chat room basically. Uh, you can get an unofficial version of XChat. I think the official version you have to pay for, you've got a 30 day trial with. Uh, but an unofficial version, which I'll leave links to all of these by the way in the description. The unofficial version is free, and as you can see, it's connecting to my IRC chat room, so that didn't cost me anything. 
we'll click that. And next up, if it moves, is Frostwire. LimeWire Pro would cost 15 euros. Frostwire is an earlier version of LimeWire Pro. Does the same thing, such as the same network. I won't open it, so it'll take quite a while. Um, Power DVD runs DVDs. I think that does special things with like HD DVDs, but you can get VLC Media Player. This can run DVDs as well and do other things to it. Um, Winamp Pro, Winamp Pro, I'd probably use for ripping CDs from, uh, ripping tracks from CDs that I own. But you can use CDX to do that. Uh, yes. And yeah, as you can see, you just load a CD in and it will load the tracks and rip them, and it didn't cost a penny. Uh, Mozilla Thunderbird, Mozilla Thunderbird, and Open Office. Mozilla Thunderbird, if I quickly show you, I'll try not to run out of time. Uh, Mozilla Thunderbird is an email client which is alternative to Outlook. Sunbird again is part of Outlook which is a calendar. And the actual open off office applications are things like alternatives to Word which is Writer. And uh, PowerPoint and Excel and Access. All alternatives here looks exactly the same. So uh, Maths, Excel. so. That's that. 7-Zip File Manager. WinZip would cost 2055 and that manages zip files. 7-Zip does the same thing and also manages RAR files. So in a way I could have added uh, could have added WinRAR to the list but decided not to so that, that's the saving there. Miranda IM. I don't know if you've heard of Trillium Pro. It's sort of a multi-platform chatting client. I think there's a lot of plugins for it, but there's also a lot of plugins for Miranda. I'm, I'm pretty sure people can argue with me otherwise uh, about the differences. But as I keep trying to tell you, it's a bit of fun. So, uh, Not in internet security, I think you get an antivirus, a firewall, and spyware uh, searcher. And it all comes in one application, which is very resource hungry. And I'm not a big fan of Norton. But that costs 41 euros and you can get Adaware which is very respected in the technology community Komodo same thing and anti-VIR I was going to show you Avast or AVG which some people like to use but this is already installed so I've, I've been using this for quite a long time so I keep them installed so the, all these three will pretty much make up for Norton Internet Security and I reckon it's probably a damn sight better so that's about it really. Um, I'm fairly sure that there's going to be at least one person leaving a comment saying tell you what is better and is even cheaper or free or whatever and they'll say Linux. Obviously Linux doesn't cost a penny to put on your computer and all the applications on it are free anyway. But as of this time we're talking about Windows software so all these ones, these are 20 programs that don't cost you a penny and these are 20 programs that will cost you a lot. So, something to think about. If you can find freeware alternatives to other pay for software, or if you know of better versions of programs than these, then please let me know. Write a comment. Also, rate the video and subscribe if you like my videos. And that's about it, really. Thanks for watching.